Hey guys, Odin here, the coach of Davos Rainbow Six, and I'm here to recap the stage 3 players in this edition of the After Action Report. Coming into the playoffs, we have the 4 seed from Apex South, which put us up against Diamond Gaming in the upper quarterfinals. We ended up taking the overtime win 8 7 and moving on to the upper semi finals to play against Chiefs. Pika, you got a king. You know what I'm saying? Hey, call it. Hey, call it. Okay, means it. At first, we didn't really play on our full strength. But then after being down 3-6, we really followed our plan and executed everything perfectly. So we played really well at the end of the match. Moving into the upper semi-finals against Chiefs, we ended up playing on Chalet. I think our performance was just really bad against them. We made a lot of mistakes that we already did before in scrims but didn't manage to fix. But at least we learned a lot of out of that match. We weren't able to do anything against Chiefs as they took us down 7-2 and pushed us down to the lower quarterfinals to play against Cyclops. Moving into our best of three against Cyclops, the first map was banned. With a strong defense, we ended up taking the first map of the series 7-4. There's not a lot on the top to make an execute happen. It certainly isn't Pika though, finding the opening. This is what we need to see from Diawall. Start to steamroll. This Catarata tries to go large, but will be shut down immediately. Anatan, all he can hope for, surely not. I mean, surely he doesn't start to hit these kind of shots. He'll be shut down in the end by ED. But this is this is a done and dusted round. There is no way Diawalls can fight back. Oh no! Oh, no way! How have they done this? <gasps> Direwolves now are in prime position. How have they done this? Going to be too little, too late. Jackie Wu's already sticking it. This is unreal. <laughs> <laughs> Heading on to Chalet for the second map, we managed to get three runs on attack before switching. But we were unable to take a round on defense, causing the series to even up at 1-1. Oregon was our third and final map of the series, and we managed to take four attack rounds to two, and then rounded out the match after three different rounds to take the match 7-2. It just doesn't feel achievable. Cyclops are really shutting this down. Yep, really slow progress here, Ooh. but Jackie Wu finally gets another pick Pika. to equal that man count. <laughs> Pika, he's in for a gunfight here in this freezer hallway. It's very important, but 20 seconds remain. Might be able to deny this plan here, but he needs Anatan to get into position. Oh, what is the timing on that? The kit was stuck and Anitan can't get anything done. The team didn't really have any expectations. It's been a really long time since we last played a best of three in a tier one competition. So we didn't really know what to expect. Our mindset was, if we win, great. If we lose, also okay, because then we finally get a break. So we just tried our best. There's a drone that just spotted him, Black Brave. Right on the very verge. The problem right now is, oh my god, Ayagata finding Shadow. Black Ray still trying to find something out toward Blue. Ayagata just has no problem going aggressive. Souffle just peeking around the corner. Now Suzu goes down. And this feels irretrievable for Cyclops. Black Ray will have to go to try to deny, but I don't even know if he'll be allowed to do that. He's got absolutely nothing to do so from distance, but he does have his wits and his will. Good round from Direwolves once more. They have to pray that they can make something work, and they're just going to send it up wide stairs right now. They're going to go in deep. Ganarada finds a pick on Jackie Wu, and they fade away back into the midst. They're waiting for something to happen. They're waiting, although it can be lethal. My God, they're just going to send it in. Cyclops are a little bit disjointed, but it doesn't make a difference. It's working. How does Swift play win that? He nearly finds a kill on the Ganarada, but a two versus two is unfolding right in front of us. Waiting with a crossfire, an unbelievable crossfire. That Pika finds the entrance into security. Suzu can't do a damn thing. A 1v2 is on the line here, the clutch. Can Suzu find it? Oh my word, Direwolves pull out just at the last second. How have they done it? They take the series and they force their way through that lower bracket. I think our performance was great. Adapted really well against the aggressive play style of Cyclops. Our performance on Bank and Oregon was really good. And then on Chalet, we managed to improve some mistakes we did against Chiefs, but we didn't manage to do everything completely correctly. And then I'm also really happy with our mental performance. We managed to win the map on Oregon, even though we lost really hard on the second map. So overall, really good. After a close round one matchup and down one, we ended up in the lower semi-finals for a rematch in a best of three. Our first map was Bank, where down one proved too strong for us and took the map 7-4.
Moving on to Chalet, we battled back and forth in what would be another close match, but we managed to take the overtime win 8 7 after a couple of huge plays on the team. Oh, Katzen gets timed! Oh, he gets timed! Souffle wins <laughs> that engagement, and there have been so many crazy oh. opening kills in this match. Pika doubles down, Yas off the board, Rin finds one back, immediately traded himself. Coded and Boogeyman just like that. <laughs> Do this one be a play by play cast? I guess I like, just go. I feel for like I'm it, spinning man. some bars right now. Let I might drop an loose. album. Please, please do. When's the next one popping? Because this one was straight fire. What a round! Boogie Man, though, now holding the cross from the window, so that's no longer the play. Solar should be a tank fight quickly here, but Jackie Wu is holding oh, the angle. Who wins win. this fight? Oh, Jackie Wu gets it! And another one! Oh my god! Dire Wolves! They have the 5v2 once again! Surely they don't let it slip! Woogie Man has done so much! The damn one here! You couldn't ask for two better players on their side to clutch up. There's three to find on the direwolf side, and Jackie Wu's holding on. He finds his third! And it looks like all thanks to Jackie Wu, we will be heading to Villa. Try planting right in front of the evil eye. Souffle will easily finish you off. And that is Direwolves pushing us down to the wire. Our third map was Villa, and after taking three rounds on defense, we weren't able to make anything happen on attack, losing 3-7, which left us with a final placement of fourth. I think our performance was great. We really exceeded our own expectations, and definitely we exceeded the expectations of the fans and the other people. So I'm really happy about that. And we also managed this with a roster that wasn't even 20 days old at that day. Shadow stepped in, I think, 17 days before, and then Jackie joined two months ago. So I'm really happy about that what we managed to accomplish in this short amount of time with our new roster and if you compare it to stage 2 where we got 7th place in APAC South and now we got I think it's 6th place in APAC overall so I think it's a huge improvement and really good and that's everything for this playoffs edition of the After Action Report be sure to tune into Davos social media for all information on Davos Rainbow Six Squad and any of our upcoming matches all in out